What's up guys? We are the Anglicans who founded the Oxford Movement, or the Tractarians, are with John Henry Newman and Edward Pusey, we started at 1833. We are responsible for the meaning and temper in which we deal with his holy church, established among us for the salvation of our souls, end of actual quote. Now I will rant about the Church of England disrespecting the successors of the apostles, that is to say the bishops, and people want to follow the flow, and that is apostasy, hence this sermon being called national apostasy. You know what John Kebble, you are right, let's create a movement to restore the English Universal Church to her rightful place. And that's where we began, affirming that the Church of England's authority is on God, and we made the tracts for the times, I wrote plenty on them. Seriously, John Henry Newman, you published three tracts on literally the same day, September 8, 1833. Ah uh, yes, sorry Kebble, I'll let you write the next one. Yeah, you write much stuff about returning to the old paths of Christianity, have you written any hymns? At 1820 I wrote Son of My Soul, but I'm sure you know that. Yeah, at June earlier this year, I was stuck on a ship for three weeks after a Europe trip, and it was there when I've written Lead Kindly Light. I actually didn't join until 1835, but I already had written Tract 18 that December 1833. There were other writers but Newman wrote plenty. We said that the sacraments are awesome and have an actual saving power, and we are for the early Catholic Christian Church, before the Roman one ruined everything, and then the Protestant ones even more. No dude, I hate the papacy and stuff and in no way are we getting close to popery, I do think a visible church exists. By the way, I hold that afflicting oneself and fasting often is legit and should be practiced. And the rock on which Christ would build his church is the confession of Peter and not Peter himself. The English church is the via media, the middle way, the true Catholic church, since the Roman one is the worst of all the churches with its perverse doctrines and fake fakes. All this stuff is fascinating, now I will never convert to Roman Catholicism. Matthew Bridges, your book at 1828 against Roman Catholicism is awesome. Yeah, I'm glad we will remain Anglicans for life, I am definitely not tempting fate, not at all. Extra extra, come get tracked for the times, which totally is getting closer to Roman Catholicism haha ha, I'm just kidding. Eventually I got to write tract 90 in the year 1841, and let's just say it got controversial. What on earth? John Henry Newman wrote here that the 39 articles in the Church of England can be interpreted as the Catholic Church and not necessarily Protestant. This time, this time he and his silly high church movement went too far. That's it then, the Bishop of Oxford, Richard Baggett, has forbidden more tracts so I guess it'll stop here. Oh, I miss writing stuff already, what can I do? Oh, I know what to do. Haha <laughs> guys of course not, Hollywood wouldn't be established until 1853 and up to here it's 1845. Breaking news! John Henry Newman, this day October 9, 1845, literally and maybe to no one's surprise has left Anglicanism and has entered the fold of the Roman Catholic Church, this is shocking to many Brits and is surely going to make the headlines. Bye bye now. Well it's just us now, Edward Pusey. But then our movement will be known as Puseyism and we will be known as Puseyites. So much for tempting fate, Matthew, now you're a convert to Roman Catholicism and stuff, you better write hymns. Well here's my hymn, crown him with many crowns. Well now I'm a cardinal in the church I so used to hate, oh well, what's next? They make me a saint? You know, this is awesome.